Okay, the first one is a three by two. The second one is a two by two. So what I mean by the middle dimensions must match, the numbers that are in the middle there, when you list them in order, the first matrix uh, dimensions by the second matrix dimensions, the two numbers in the middle have to be the same. And actually, our result is going to be a three by two. And it always works that way. Okay, the numbers in the middle have to match, and then your result is going to be the numbers on the outside. If they don't match, you say, not possible, and you move on to the next one. Okay, but be careful, the majority of these you can do. All right, the majority of these you can do. All right, now let me show you how this works. And this is why it's very important that I think you understand and remember uh, how to name these things because I'm going to go through and I'm going to label my rows and my columns because I'm going to uh, use that as I'm doing this. Okay, so I said my result's going to be a 3 by 2, so I'm going to um, write myself a three by two here, but I'm going to spread out my columns pretty wide so that I've got plenty of room to work. Okay, so that's how I set up these problems when I'm doing them. Try and take this slow because it, it's really nothing like you've done before. Okay? So I need the entry for row one, column one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my numbers from row one of the first matrix and I'm going to multiply them by the numbers in column one from the second matrix, okay? I need the entry for row one, column one, so I'm taking row one from the first one, column one from the second one. I'm gonna multiply those numbers, and then I'm gonna add them together. So I'm multiplying six times three, the first one from each, six times three, plus the second ones multiplied by each other, three times negative one. Yes, it's always plus. I mean, you may be adding a negative number, but yes, you always add them together. Okay? Now, it's up to you how you want to do this. If you want to go down your columns first, um, or if you want to fill in your rows, typically I usually fill in my rows. So, right here, I want row one, column two. So I'm going to take row one again, but then I'm going to take column two because I need the entry for row one, column two. So I take row one from the first one, multiply it by column two. So this time we've got six times six plus three times negative six. Does it Yes, it has to be, you, you have to go, you have to go in order, yeah. You've got to do the first one, huh? first one from row yeah. one times the first one times column two. I, I understand, I understand like when I said, oh. oh, if you had written three times negative six plus six times six, that would be fine. No, Yes, but that's going to get multiplied by the second one from row one, which is three. I'm taking the first entry right here times the first entry right here. So that's where the six times six comes from. And then it's the second one from row one, the second one from column two. You don't pair them up like this. It's first and first. Okay. 
it, it just it looked like that right here because three was also there in here. Yeah. Okay, so it's it's first entry from each one, second entry from each one. Okay. Okay. And somebody else have a question? I thought somebody else said something. Okay, so now let's move on to row two. We need row two, column one. So I take my numbers from row two of the first one and multiply it by column one of the second one. So negative one times three plus one times negative one. First entry from each one plus second entry from each one. Row two, column two, negative one times six plus one times negative six. Yep, you gotta be careful with these details. Okay, row three, column one. Okay, row three from the first one, column one from the second one, five times three, plus three times negative one. Finally, row three, column two, so five times six, plus three times negative six. And then you crunch the numbers, exactly. So let's see here, we've got 18 plus negative three, so that's 15. We've got 36 plus negative 18, so that is 18. We've got negative three plus negative one, that is negative four. You are more than welcome to use your calculator to do this, but I do encourage, as always, practice those arithmetic skills without a calculator. Where is the three coming from? Where is column one? Row two, column one, it came from the column one part. This number is always going to Fifteen plus negative three, twelve. Thirty plus negative eighteen is also twelve. Well, okay. So more involved, but it's, I mean it's nothing crazy. You just have to be careful with the details. So. Best thing to do is for you guys to practice on your worksheets.